what's up this your boy big man you already know what it is man so let's get right to it okay so today we're gonna be talking about none other than west coast legendary producer dj mustard now dj mustard has done some really big things in the hip-hop game man He's changed the whole sound of the West Coast, man. He helped bring the West Coast back to prominence, man. Back when Kendrick Lamar and YG were really running the game, you know. Dude is a real talented uh, producer. And basically, man, crossed over to that pop world and took his sound worldwide, man. Dude is, is, is really on his grind and stays making consistent hits and consistent projects. Now, recently, he lost a lot of weight and he caught a lot of attention about that. And people were, were, were happy for him for the most part because it showed a lot of hard work and dedication. Now, DJ Mustard has been relatively quiet lately because it seems like he's working on a lot of different projects in the studio. But he has taken time to take the social media and bask in all the money and wealth that he's gained since coming in the game and contributing to hip hop. Like he's really made the bag, you know? But it seems like somebody else had their eye on DJ Mustard's bag and said, forget this, we about to scam and finesse him out of some cash. Now, DJ Mustard himself took the social media to complain about this and to warn others about this person that he alleges is a scamster, a fraudster, and will finesse them like they did him. Now, before we get into the specifics, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And man, let's get it. Okay, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about DJ Mustard and this whole finesse situation. Now, this hip-hop super producer has become one of the latest uh, victims of the finesse game. Now, when I say the finesse game, I'm talking about somebody getting in your pockets with ill intent. And it looks like DJ Mustard, for all intents and purposes, was trying to help people out, man. He was trying to give people a job. He was trying to do the right thing. And guess what, man? They turned around and stabbed him in the bizzack. And I'm... It's this is all according to DJ Mustard and according to his take on the situation. So we haven't heard from the person that he's accusing this of, but this is the story and this is what he took to social media. Now he made this post and it got a lot of people talking. In the post on social media, he said this, man, and he's trying to send a warning out. He said, attention to all my people who know me. I want to bring something to everyone's attention. At Kariska Walker is a thief and a liar. She is not my stylist. She was a personal shopper for me. And at Chanel Dion, I don't know who Chanel Dion is. Maybe that's an artist. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll continue. We let her use the stylist word so she could get business. But the truth is she did nothing but shop. Today, I found out she ran my credit cards up over 50 K buying stuff for herself. Purses, shoes, shades, and other stuff. Man, hold up, pause. She was going to work with his credit card. God, 50K? On accessories? Purses, shoes, and shades? Okay, let's, let's continue. And other stuff. I'm hot. I'm only writing this so nobody else deals with her. She's bad for business. I have all the receipts to prove everything. I paid her more than she was worth. Because I don't play with taking care of people that do their jobs. This is messing crazy. You know, I had to improvise there because he uses a word we can't use. This is freaking crazy and just wrong. Man, so basically he's saying this Kariska Walker finessed him for over 50K. Now he's going to change the amount later and we'll get to that. But he's like, man, she's bad for business. And basically took his, his credit card and was just going wild when she was supposed to be shopping for him. And making sure his fits were right. And he also let her go around and tell everybody in the city that she was a stylist. Just so he could help her brand out. Now he continues on, on how he helped her out in the next post. Actually on the next post, he says this. He actually shows receipts. And man, he just basically posted the receipt of what went down and what was bought or whatnot. And he showed the traffic that he had between them messaging each other back and forth. Obviously through text message. Now, it goes like this. You see the receipt at the very top, and you see it says Monday. I don't know if that's just a graphic he added or whatnot, but you see that there were some shoes bought or whatnot and all the money that was spent and some type of jacket that cost $2,000. $2,000 for a jacket? That's crazy, man. Must be nice. Must be nice. And then, I mean, really, not really, because she's using somebody else's money allegedly, right? But then the, the conversation continues, and it says... Can we hop on a call? 
So it seems like that's the girl, Carissa Walker or whatever, hitting him up. And he says, a call. Because, and then she replies, she says, because no one else is involved, it's just me, my wrongdoings. Seems like she's trying to own up to it, but uh, maybe she's just owning up to it because he caught her. And then it, he replies, he said, you really ran up my car, you really crazy. <laughs> Funny. And then she replies, so sorry, with the hand over the face emoji? Then she also says, truly am so sorry, should have never got to this point, my temptation ran to, to greed and I am so sorry. So what in the world? Uh, yeah, man, I'm with YG. Like, I mean, number one, that's an omission of guilt, allegedly, right? And then number two, just to say, yo, man, my temptation, you know, it got the best of me. I had to get you for this 50K. Like, you work for me. And man, let's, okay, so now let's go to this next post that he made. Okay, so DJ Mustard continues some more, man. And he starts to expand on it. And he says this. He adds her, Carissa C. Walker, and he said, it's more, I just wanted to show y'all what her reply was when she got caught, which we seen in the in the text message. And he said, that was just one receipt. I said 50K, but y'all, but we still waiting on more receipts. She ran up 15K in Las Vegas alone on herself. Hand over the face emoji, man. So basically, man, he's saying that she went to Vegas and spent 15K on one Vegas trip? What kind of money, man, this is crazy, man. I mean, she obviously out here, you know, allegedly using his money. So it ain't really balling, man. It's finessing and scamming, but that's a lot of money. That's a, man, that's crazy, man. That is crazy. Yeah, especially when you consider what most people make in a year. That is insane, man. On one trip, I mean, I would feel, I don't know, I'd, I'd feel bad about that. I mean, not bad, but I'd feel guilty for some reason, man. You know what I mean? That's a lot of money just to be blowing like that. But... DJ Mustard wasn't done there. He continued to post. Now, in this final post, he was letting it be known why he felt the her what he felt her motivation was for doing this in the first place, man. Because he really felt to take him back because he, you know, he he trusted her and they had a good relationship. And man, it seemed like she just went ahead and stabbed him in the biz act. And she was his employee. So he said this. He continued with this. He said, This could well over 100 k Now I think he meant this could be well over 100 k uh, face palm emoji. Then he said, all for freaking Instagram. Mind you, she gets paid $6,000 a month to shop. That's 72 k a year. You just messed that up for some freaking Instagram likes with all sorts of question marks behind it. And that is wild. That, to be making that kind of money, 72 k a year just to go shop for somebody and to pick out their nicest, some nice clothes and man... Is he taking applications? Like, uh, can dudes do that job? You know what I mean? Because that is that 72K? That's almost twice the, the medium income for most families, man. That's that's wild, man. That's just wild. They they playing with some some real paper out there. And, you know, out in the hip-hop, in the hip-hop world. That, well, you know, DJ Mustard, he's really put it down in hip-hop for a while. So a lot of his beats that he made in the past, all the production he's made in the past, it's just like compound interest almost probably at this point. You know, he's got money just coming in from all those royalties and all that stuff, man. It must be nice, must be nice. But, man, the 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 young lady that he pointed out in this situation, if you look at her social media page, she definitely was on that Instagram vibe, you know, where everybody posts how balling they doing and stuff like that. And you see in most of her pictures that she's like, I mean, she's she's got on some really nice clothes and stuff. But, you know... We have to give her the benefit of the doubt. Just because DJ Mustard said that she did this doesn't mean that she did this. Even though some of those posts that he made and especially the text messages between them are pretty revealing, man. It, it, it makes it seem like this is a, a possibility that it definitely happened. You know what I mean? And yes, I'm choosing my words right. But what do you guys think on this situation? Do you think this young lady was wrong by taking advantage of DJ Mustard and using his card and running it up behind his back because he trusted her? Or do you feel maybe there's more to this story that we don't know and it's a possibility that there's some mistakes in this situation and DJ Mustard might have just jumped out too quick on top of this. Now with that, this has been your boy Big Man. Please hit that like button. Please hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content and we out of here. Peace.